Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to get XML file from NuGet package. How to retrieve the project files from NuGet package. Sometimes what happens like we, we are working on a project where we have already created lots of XML file in that project and we have published the project to the orchestrator and uh, we deleted that project files that xml files and now we have a requirement that we need to find out the latest workflow file the latest project files so that we can make changes to that project or we can work on that so only option you have that you have published that project to the orchestrator or you have a nuget package available in in a folder or somewhere in your email so in this video, I will show you how to get those project files, those, those XML files from that package. So you can see here, we have this project that is get XML file from NuGet package and in which we have three XML file, three workflow files. This is main, this is first workflow file and this is second workflow file. So in this one, you will able to see that we have a message box. I have just uh, taken this one just to understand like so we get the correct exact same workflow so let me publish this now I already have version 1.011 but now I'm going to make it 1.0.2 now here I'm going to publish to the personal workspace that is my uh, email ID workspace now I'll click on publish now this has been published now let, let me close this I have deleted this so I don't have that package here I don't have that example that project files here now how can I get that project file so for that I will go to this UI path orchestrator and in my workspace I have one project one package I have published that is 1.0.2 now if we'll just click on my workspace and then from this automations we have this process and here you can click on my packages and from my packages you can click on this three option locate your that package that you want to download so click here click on view version now here you have two version one that is 1.0.1 .1 and other is 1.0.2 I want to download the latest package this one right so I will click on this three option click on download package now we have this now open this so currently this package is showing as a winrar file and type is nupkg file so it means this is nuget package currently the file type is different by default it has, it has taken as a uh, winrar but in your case might be you will get something different you will not get this winrar package so what you need to do now you have to locate that that package here so i have this package in my case, I have this set uh, WinRed by default. So I will just right click here and open with WinRed Archiver. Click on this. Now you can see these are the files we have available. Now click on Extract to select your path where you want to extract. Now click on OK. Now close this. Now you can see here now we have the folder we have extracted now in your case might be you will not be getting uh, this window window file you will be getting a normal file type there so in that case you have to right click on that you have to click on open with and in the open with you have to click choose another app and then click on more apps and then click on look for another apps on this, this PC and then you can go to the window C go to the program files and you can search any archiver like you have this winrar so you can select winrar that is that you will get from here winrar and you can select this application not this one you can select this and click open if you are using uh, the 7 jp or any other application so you can select that so by this way you will select here and by default it will be added and also you if you have any application that is showing here so you can directly select from here you have lots of applications if you are getting any of these applications here which is used to 
extract the files from the package from the zip files like that you can select here right so I have this one I have extracted that now you can double click on this folder now click on LIB that library now net 45 .NET 45 4.5 like that now in this one in this folder you can see LIB slash net 45 I have all this workflow files now what are those file names you have to pick what are those files you need to take so you can take your second workflow main workflow first workflow and the project.json file and if you have any other workflow you can take it from here this binding json not required binding version 2 json not required the setting project not required you can just delete this you can just cut this cut from here and you can paste here and now delete all this now the project JSON file is required and your workflow file is required now you have all this now what you can do you can just open this UI path studio copy this path click on open a local project enter that path now choose that project JSON file now you can see all the files have been loaded now with the dependency with the templates with the entity everything you are able to get here you have main XML file you have first XML file you have second workflow but you can click on this open main workflow so your main workflow will be now open right and now you can see the message box is there and in the second workflow a message box is there in the first workflow a message box is there if you want to run that so you will able to run that same as previous there is no change here so you can see here the message box here so by this way you can extract the workflow files your project files from NuGet package by this way you can retrieve the files from your orchestrator right so no need to worry about that like you have lost your project files from from your local folder now how can i get that so you can directly go through this video and you can get your files i hope this video is helpful if so please like this video and please subscribe this channel thank you so much for watching this video if you want to learn blue prism please visit my youtube channel youtube.com slash blue prism rpa and also if you want to learn blue prism from udemy and you want to get certificate you can search for my blue prism course th there that is blue prism rpa complete course i will also put the link in in my video description you can go through that there thank you